Hey everybody, welcome back to another Red Bull Racing Review. This is the 2011 Casey Kane Shutter Red Bull Toyota. This is the one that famously ran out of gas next to Dale Jr. at the very start of overtime. But Dale Jr. would run out of gas too. <laughs> um, so anyway, this uh, this is that shutter car from that race. It was the only really special Red Bull scheme I ever saw them run. Every other one was just a standard Red Bull scheme. So uh, anyway, never was produced, had to be made as a custom, and this is a pretty dang good custom. So we're going to start with the box, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at all the details in this custom. So we got a Red Bull racing box. Uh, you can see it's 2011 number four Red Bull shutter. Toyota Camry, Coke 600, custom by Griff2448. I don't know if um, he still makes customs, if he's uh, still rolling in and all that. Uh, there is an email, I believe, in there somewhere. I'll check and see if it's in there. Uh, one of 1082 uh, for total quantity. I gotta see, I think it might be in this box. There might be a little notice to go with. Um, but, uh, yep, here it is. Thank you for your business. Uh, your feedback is very important. So if you're happy with your item, please leave positive feedback. If you're not happy, have any questions, please reach out to me at, uh, there's his email, that's a, at charter.net, before leaving any negative or neutral feedback so I can help correct any problems. Thanks again, Cody. So I don't know who uh, who specifically this is, uh, if he still makes customs. Um, I probably shouldn't have shown you his email, but eh, maybe, he, maybe he's still in business and I'll help him out. <laughs> but um, he does really good customs. I mean, these customs are fantastic. He also did the Phoenix win. Um, but these customs are really, really something. Um, I, I've never seen quality quite like it. Um, so we'll start here. We'll go, we'll, we'll go ahead and take a look at this die cast. But, um, if you don't remember the uh, Joey Logano Mosaic car from 2016 that he won the All-Star Race in and some others, I have three customs of that. Three? Two or three customs of that car. And the hood can't really open without rip, ripping the decal, and the roof flaps can't really open without messing up the decals because they're hard. Decals are tough, especially on a full wrap car. Like, this is a full wrap on a car. Um, so it's tough, and uh, it, it is, it's very challenging, and they, it, these these two number four cars I got are, are top notch. Um, give me a sec here, I need some water. Ice water, good. All right, let's get into it. So, down the left side, you can see we got our mosaic going on here. There you see the red bulb uh, stripes coming up here. Uh, silver, white, blue, White, red, white. Um, those are the stripes here. See the number four? Um, better than the other number four, a little bit wider, but still needs to be just a tick wider, kind of like this one on the roof. This is correct. This is the correct shape that number four should be. Uh, this one you can tell just a smidge too tall, um, but not bad. Uh, you see the tape for the jack, mobile one, course I pull award, and Sprint Cup Series up there. Uh, Sprint Cup Series is usually pushed forward a little bit, so maybe they condense the logo down, I'm not sure. Um, black wheel on front, red wheel on back for the, for the bull back here. And then uh, we got Red Bull and the ethanol ring here on the rear. And then you can see all the mosaic pictures that are in this car. Um, that is kind of the, the really unique draw about this. Um, they couldn't make this car. They said the decals would be far too difficult. And yet the custom makers did it. <laughs> but uh, every time they've made it work. So um, don't ask me why. I'm just, just saying. Um, but anyway, we got Walgreens here. Um, on this uh, the C post back here uh, on the roof you see we got our number four with all the mosaic pictures in there as well um, I haven't actually tried to pop any roof flaps do I dare try let's find out I think you can pop them open let's let's tip it upside down and see yes you can never question the legendary work of this man the other one looks like it might be tougher to pop open let me let me be very careful before I do anything I think I'm gonna leave that one shut. At least one of them opens up. So that roof flap right there does pop open and goes right back shut and you don't even notice it. Deck lid also pops open and shut. You see we got Red Bull and then all the shutter pictures also on the rear, there are a bunch of them. Now what I'm confused about, I think this is actually just a conglomeration of pictures. I don't think they actually um, use the right pictures or wrap. I think this is a custom made wrap because if you look at the pictures, a lot of them look the same. Like looks like there's there's similar parts of these pictures that are that are very very similar here here here, um, just kind of all around. I think there's a, oh sorry I wasn't wasn't on the picture. Um, here we go. Uh, but I, I think the the pictures are actually fairly common here here. Like there's some common pictures in there. Um, so I think that might be kind of part of it. Um, as I said, we've got uh, just a few different spots where it's kind of like that. You see multitudes of the same picture. 
sometimes side by side. So I think they're just kind of mixed around in there together. Um, the car still looks fantastic, so there's our fuel cell in there. And custom by Griff, 2488 in the rear window there. Uh, the right side, same as the left, you can see our bowl and then the tailpipes here. Uh, number four, um, and the color looks good on these too. Um, get to the front, we've got our Red Bull Toyota front end, uh, the grill down there, and then actually that splitter is a little bit stuck out, which is awesome. There you see the headlights and Red Bull on the hood. Uh, now what I was talking about with the splitter being stuck out, so uh, the best way to put it is it's like there's a rubber piece of tape almost on this end. It's kind of squishy, uh, but it, it does, I mean, look at it. It looks like a legitimate splitter that would hang out from underneath the bottom of the car. And most of these cars did not have that. Um, the, I've got my Joey Logano went up there, but it does not have that piece sticking out. Um, and then also it, it has been lowered, so you can see the front suspension's not quite in there. But it lets this car ride right on the ground, really low to the ground, makes it look really, really good. Um, so I don't mind that one bit. But um, the other thing is, on this one, we can look under the hood. Because he did such a good job on these decals, you can pop the hood open and doesn't wreck any of the decaling. And that is another one of those a very um, underappreciated parts of quality custom makers, is when you can pop this hood open and you don't have to worry about the decals getting ripped up in the edges. Because he did such a good job of getting these decals to lay and then sit down in... To this groove so that way you can rub your hand up along this you don't have to worry about catching a decal ripping it off or doing any of that it's all put down really well you can see how these decals kind of roll over the edge but then they're all cut and then stuck down very very nicely so again very high quality custom um this is this is a really cool car i mean i i saw this and um i got this with that custom red uh the two total or th uh, sorry let me start over three total customs all red bull cars and this was obviously one of them along with the phoenix win and i i couldn't i couldn't say no this is this is way too cool so um it's absolutely phenomenal work i mean i am i'm i think with with if he could get his hands on lionel quality decals he, he'd, he'd be a millionaire i mean uh, you know I don't think you can make that much money doing die cast, but man, the quality is there. Um, even just the inside of the seat on the uh, the other one was fantastic. So, um, you know, this this custom here has has got to be one of the coolest paint schemes that ever ran. Obviously, the 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 reason it looks so cool is it just looks like camo almost. And then you got the number four and the Red Bull stuff all still there. Um, but this was a really cool car, and it was really a shame that Lionel didn't make it. But it does make for a really, really cool and very, very unique custom. So I'm very happy to have this in my Kane collection. It's definitely fitting in. Um, so it won't be in this week's video, which is the... Uh Drop a screwdriver. Uh, won't be in this week's video for the top 10, or not the top 10, the, the Casey Kane career uh, standard schemes, because this was obviously a one-off, but... Uh, there, there will be a, a point where this one will uh, get brought back into one of the specials. So, uh, Anyway, that'll wrap up this review. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, obviously, give me your thoughts on this custom. It's it's fantastic, in my opinion. But let me know your thoughts, because uh, I'm always interested to find those out. But um, Otherwise, do leave a like. Subscribe if you're new for daily diecast content. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Um, otherwise, this has been Race Craze. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next diecast review.